क्वेश्चन नंबर एट इन दिस क्वेश्चन आई इज़ अ यूनिट वैक्टर ड्यू ईस्ट एंड जे इज़ अ यूनिट वैक्टर ड्यू नॉर्थ डिस्टेंसेज आर मयर्ड इन किलोमीटर्स एंड टाइम इज़ मयर्ड इन आवर्स एट नाइन शिप ए लीव्स अ पॉइंट पी विद द पोजिशन वैक्टर फाइव आई प्लस सिक्सटीन जे रेलेटिव टू द ओरिजिन ओ सो लेट मी ड्रॉ दिस पोजिशन वैक्टर राइट सो दिस इज एक्स वाई कॉर्डिनेट right so the position vector of point p the x value is 5 and the y is 16 let's say this is a position vector op this is o and p relative to the origin right so at 9 ship a leaves point p so this is a point p at 9 in the morning the ship a over here it leaves a point p that has a position vector of 5y plus 16j relative to the origin it sails with a constant speed we have given the constant speed that is 6k root of 3 on the bearing of 120 so we know that bearing is um, the clockwise angle with the north line so this is the north line and when we do the clockwise angle we have the bearing over here right this is 120 because this whole straight line is 180 so what is that angle 120 minus 180 right so 120 sub sorry 180 subtract 120 that is 60 degrees right so uh, for part 1 uh, if show that the velocity vector of a equals to this so to find the velocity vector we have to find x component plus uh, into i unit vector plus j component into j uh, i component into j unit vector right so what is the x component so x component is the speed that is 6 square root of 3 and sine of the angle 60 we are taking x component positive because in the fourth quadrant the x value is positive here and the y value is negative right and the y component is minus 6 square root of 3 cos of 60 degree right so let me add both of them to get v so v is uh, x i plus y j so that is 6 square root of 3 sin 60 so let me solve what is sin 60 that is square root of 3 by 2 plus y is minus 6 square root of 3 cos of 60 cos 60 degree is 1 by 2 okay so let's simplify 1 by 2 is multiplying with minus 6 square root of 3 that is equals to minus 3 square root of 3 this is i unit vector and here we have j unit vector so the velocity vector v is this is minus 3 square root of 3 j unit vector and now let me simplify this square root of 3 times square root of 3 is just 3 uh, and 6 times 3 divides 2 6 times 3 divides 2 that is 9 so v is same 9i minus 3 square root of 3 j so this is a velocity vector of a now for part b find the position vector of a at 12 okay so this uh, we have given the position vector um, uh, when the ship leaves a point p uh, that is this is a position vector at 9 so at 9 in the morning we have the position vector now we need to find the position vector at 12 so how can you find that position vector so the position vector we can say is the position vector at 9 that is equals to 5i plus 16j plus t times of the velocity vector of a that is 9i minus 3 square root of 3j okay now what is t so t is a time so here the time is this vector is for 6 9 in the morning and here we have 12 so 9 to 12 we have three more hours so just put t equals to 3 so we have 5i plus 6j plus 3 times of uh, 9i minus 3 square root of 3j and here we have 5i plus 6j plus Three times nine is twenty-seven i minus three times three square root of three. 
नाइन स्केयर रूट ऑफ थ्री माइनस नाइन स्केयर रूट ऑफ थ्री जे सो हेयर वी हैव द पोजिशन वैक्टर ऑफ ए एट ट्वेल्व इज आई कंपोनेंट इज ट्वेंटी सेवन प्लस आई फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन दैट इज थर्टी टू आई एंड द जे कंपोनेंट्स आर प्लस सिक्स माइनस नाइन स्केयर रूट ऑफ थ्री जे This is a J component, right? Now for part C, at eleven, uh, ship B leaves a point Q with a position vector that is equals to a twenty nine i plus sixteen J. So at eleven, now this is a time. Now we have a ship B. It leaves a uh, point Q, and the position vector is this. Right, so position vector of point Q we have given. Uh, it sails with a constant velocity. Now we have given the velocity vector as well. Write down the position vector of B T hours after it starts sailing. So same like we did in the B part, we need to write down the velocity vector of A. Now here we have velocity vector for B. So the velocity vector of B is same, and that is equal to the position vector. So this is a position vector that is twenty nine i plus sixteen j. Plus t times of the velocity vector, and here we have the velocity vector minus twelve square root of three j. Right. So here we have the velocity vector v that is equals to twenty nine times i component plus sixteen minus twelve square root of three t j component. Right. Now for part D, find the distance between two ships at twelve. Okay. Now at twelve, uh, the ship A. We have given the position vector of A at twelve is this. Let me write down for A. At twelve, we have thirty-two i um, plus six minus nine square root of three j. Right. This is for A. Now for B, this is the position vector of B at t hours. Right. And for this is for t. Right. So when we have this is for eleven. The time is eleven, and here we have to find time twelve. So eleven to twelve is just one hour. So we have to put t equals to one. So B at t equals to one is twenty nine i plus sixteen minus twelve square root of three j. Sixteen minus twelve. Square root of three j because t equals to one because eleven to twelve just one hour. Okay, so we have to find the distance between the two shifts that is a b. So a b equals to b minus a. So we do the b component twenty nine i plus sixteen minus twelve square root of three j. This subtract thirty two i plus सिक्स mm, माइनस नाइन स्केयर रूट ऑफ थ्री जे सो दिस इज ए बी बी माइनस ए लेट मी ओपन दिस ट्वेंटी नाइन आई माइनस थर्टी टू आई प्लस सिक्सटीन माइनस ट्वेल्व स्केयर रूट ऑफ थ्री जे माइनस सिक्स माइनस नाइन स्केयर रूट ऑफ थ्री जे राइट सो दिस इज ट्वेंटी नाइन माइनस थर्टी टू I component plus this is J sorry sixteen uh, minus twelve square root of three plus six and uh, sorry minus six here and plus nine square root of three J component so now let me simplify this what is twenty nine minus thirty two that is minus three times I component this is I component sorry. Okay, and for the j component, we have sixteen minus twelve square root of three, and minus six plus nine square root of three. That is ten minus three square root of three, plus ten minus three square root of three, j component. Right. Now let me find the distance. That is the magnitude, square root of x component square plus. Y component scale. Right. Now we have a negative of three square is nine plus. We have this now doing the square of answer is this and adding a nine and uh, square root of answer that is five point six or uh, when we round we have six kilometer is the distance. So this is equals to six kilometer. Let me write down the square of this ten 
minus 3 square root of 3 and its square is 23.07. So we can say the distance AB equals to 6 km. So that's the question number 8 of uh, uh, May, June 2022, paper 2-1.